What is up guys and girls, I am Virtual Pigs and welcome back to some Planet Nomads. Now, we're not going to delay and dilly badly about today, we are going to get straight moving. Because there is a few things that need to be done. First of all, in order to start building our mega structure, the first thing I need to do is actually find a location for its build site. And it's going to be a big ass structure, so, you know, we need something relatively flat, preferably not too far from home. Something that I can uh, easily drive there in Pip. Oh, excuse me a second. Right, I'm done. All right, I do apologize. My uh, hay fever is uh, going just a tiny bit nuts recently. Right, okay, so. Base is down there. Maybe I should use this. Um, there's this, like, shallow hill area over here, isn't there? With all the, uh... Um... Yeah, yeah, whatever, you grumpy git. I... Uh, no. Hmm, see, the only thing that does concern me is I could use this area. <laughs> okay, that came out of bloody nowhere. What the hell? Jeez. No, it's definitely summer because my hay fever is just losing its shit. Seriously, is it just like endless hills around here? Yep. Doesn't seem. Actually, you know what? That... How far is base from here? Because we got that area over there, but... If I'm not mistaken... That area is absolutely littered with wildlife and because of that will be pretty much in not suitable though that middle bit doesn't look too bad let's have a little closer look that's it Pip go super fast now No, you know what? This may actually be good enough. That does me just fine. Right, so, first thing I want is I need to make sure that whatever I, that the build's initial bit is elevated. Which is that. That's what that's for. And then I need to put seriously wait I built one of the oh for fuck's sake of course it takes two hmm I'm actually not convinced no you know what I don't want to just leave that as it is. So, I'm going to quickly use the emergency printer. Once I grab myself a few little resources. I mean, this is more than enough. Is there still some left? Oh my god, there actually is. There we go. Oh. Right, so, uh, 3D printer. Actually, you know what? I may even leave 
the 3D printer on here just to kind of uh, complement the um, fact that I will probably need it more than once. So. Right, if you could build me one of that, that would be much appreciated. Oh yeah, no, I don't actually want to build that, do I? Um, right. Actually, what would you even take? Yeah, no, I don't mind building two Mark 1 plates. You know what, if I'm going to do this, I may as well make it look the part. There we go. And I need to set you up to have navigation. Right. Navigation of E. You can wait in there for the time being. Let's get you built. Right. Perfect. So, that is our main build site. Now, I need to go back to base quickly. And grab a whole bunch of bollocks. Because the first thing we need to do, the, the absolute first and foremost thing... is I need to work out building the power core because that's pretty much going to be the room we're starting with we're going to start with the power core and then build off of that Ooh, hey okay Pip whoa chill there we go that's a good Pip right now if you could please build me 20 of those and say, I don't know, 10 of those? Well, I do. I need to work out some math. Oh. And try and work out if I've got any antihistamines in place because, yeah. Right, so before I do that, let's work out some math. In order to lift this thing, to actually make it fly, I'm using these big ass air baits, which take up 500 apiece. So, to power those, we would either require a minimum of two of those per blade, and it would have to be daylight constantly, which obviously doesn't happen. So, that's not really viable. Anyway, so 500, that... If, if I operate it on just 4, that's 2,000k. Yeah, 2,000 power that it would require. Which, a uranium generator does generate more than enough to deal with that. And I do now have a steady income of uranium. You know, it could be possible if I make a room of, say, four uranium generators, use one which is, its sole job will be to power the air blades. And then the rest will either... Actually, no, I'd probably only need two. Yeah, one to power the uh, air blades, and maybe one to power the rest of the equipment, which would pretty much be all of this stuff, plus... A th 
Press a radar. Hmm. And the question is, is could I, in theory, have a place which is mostly sealed in where I could have pit uh Frida. Could I part a Ooh, that's actually not a bad idea. Could how much Oh, well, how viable would it be for me to have a parking spot with Frida on that? And not have Frida go, you know, floating off somewhere. Although, the point of having... Actually, I suppose Frida would be more like a dropship then, wouldn't she? Doable! Right, okay, so the first thing I need to do is obviously base foundation. We need a switchboard. We obviously need the uranium generator. And... Doors and internal walls, I should think. That should... In theory, be everything we need to build the power core. In theory, that is. Um, as to whether or not that actually turns out to be the case, will be completely different matter. That's it, Pip. You you had the right idea, girl. Come on, up we go. There you go. You, I know you can climb up this easy enough. You should have no problem getting up here. Or is your power going to be an issue? I hope not. I mean, we are approaching night, so perhaps doing this now wasn't the smartest idea. But you know what? Screw it. I don't care. Right, so, we're, just, we're gonna park Pip right there, for the time being. I obviously need to get into the air. I need to place down this first... First bit. There we go. Right, so... Now that I've got that, oh god. Right, now that I've got that, I can actually land. Um... So I want both of these generators to be fairly close to one another. Um, <sighs> then I need the wall as well. Ah, because, yeah, the wall takes up an entire, like, yeah, there's no way. If I had to move that in, they're both going to be interacting with each other, and that's not what I want. So, yeah, I'm going to actually have to have, like, extra bit around the edge. I can quite easily lighten this up, though. I think I have an idea for how to make it lighter. Because initially, we only need that structure there. That kind of like cross structure. 
from there, we can probably just get away with a little bit of ceiling panels. Because, yes, this is going to be a superstructure, but I do have to bear in mind the weight limits on things. So I need to uh, make it efficient. It needs to be efficient at its job. Right, so. Obviously, we got a wall that needs to go there, a wall that needs to go there. Now this is why I bought these ones, because I need a ro oh, seriously, I, are you kidding, I've gone, I've run out of all of those basic frames already, that's 20 basic frames just on this, seriously, holy balls, I think I may have underestimated just how mega this structure is actually going to be. Because this is just one room. And I'm not 100% certain how. I think I might need to add more. Huh. Wait, what is the weight of this plating, of this ceiling? 600 to 6.4k. Okay, so even just four of those is a lot, lot lighter than that. Which makes me wonder, if that's 6.4k, that simple cross structure on its own is already going to be too heavy. I'll be right back once I've rebuilt all of this. Right, well, I'm back now that I've uh, rebuilt this entire bottom layer. And, um... Yeah, it's significantly smaller than it was. And my question is, is they weigh 900? What about these? Oh, they weigh 1K. Wait, why does that weigh more? Oh no, they weigh one point, wait. Yeah, they were 1.2. Oh man, working out the weight distribution for this thing is going to be a goddamn nightmare. Ugh. Actually, not so much the weight distribution, more of the... Uh, Appropriate weight limits to the amount of power that I actually am going to have on uh, built in. I'm tempted to maybe even have like incorporate room for more uranium generators, but not actually put them in. Just in case. Oh no, Pip, 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 why did you tip? Why? Why did you tip? What the hell? Oh, Pip. Oh, fuck off you. Do one. I need to figure out what I'm going to do about... Are you both going after me? Right, okay, fair enough. You both want some? Right, fine. You 
not even hit me there, can you? Oh, you can throw it, lady. Oh, God. Okay. The, the war, the damage. Ow! Do you quite fucking mind, you asshole? Jesus Christ. The fucking animals. They're always bothering me. And now, above all, well, besides from that, I have to try and write fucking Pip again. Ugh. Which is going to take even more resources. Well, I already have most of what I need. I'd need a power thing, and I also need the winch. And the winch shackle. Perfect, right. So, what do I need for all of this crap? Two of you. Uh, one of you, I think it was. No, it was two of you, okay. And. One of you, one of you, that covers you, uh, you need... Two of these, one of those, and two of those. Oh no, you need an extra one, you need three. And you don't need anything, apparently. Oh, okay. Fair enough, I guess. In the meantime, once you've quite done that, I need to wait for these to build. And then I need to actually get, oh, I didn't even think of power. How am I going to power this? Aha! Uh -huh. Duh, the battery. Hopefully the battery will start fully powered. At least the better bloody do. Right. I mean, if not, I could always use Pip's power, I guess. Actually, you know what, it might even be worth just using Pip's power in the, in the first place, because Pip obviously already has the, um... Yeah, Pip already has the switchboard needed. So yeah, it, it literally actually makes more sense for me to use Pip's power at this point. Alright, so I... Actually, do need to build you. Wait, are you even? Are you even actually like a part of the thing? I'm just gonna assume that you are. Right. So that there. Give you a bit of room. Lovely. Provide you with power from Pip. So set up. Connect electricity. Connect. And off you go. 
Well, it worked. Not exactly the way I intended it to work, but it worked. Now I just need to take this uh, thing off of Pip, the shackle. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Chill your jets. I'm off. I'm off now that I have my pip back. This is my first car. And it's a completely solar-powered car as well. And... Surprisingly effective at the... What? In God's name happened there. Okay, I guess. Well, we don't need any of that now, so that can all bugger off. Um, have you... Oh, you have. Fan bloody tastic Right. You know what? I'm actually just going to shove... Uh, right, well, we'll leave that. I... Hmm. Right, I need to split that down until it's only got four left. There you go, perfect. So that means that Pip now always, 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 always has the ability to build the uh, shackle winch and all the other bits and pieces that are needed. In the meantime, I need to go back and actually start placing extra bits on the freaking power room because, yes. And yes, I did notice that the uh, save popped up, obviously. Um, I've actually been recording for 32 minutes so far. So normally we'd be coming up to the end about now, but... I think I've got a few little bits of cartridge that can uh, extend the time just slightly. Just long enough for me to get some of this extra framework in place. Because honestly, I do not entirely know how exactly I mean, how heavy? Uh, one sec. Okay, right, there you go, I saved you from that sneezing fit. Holy jeez, this thing is already massively heavy. In fact, you know what? I could, in theory, actually lighten this up. If I drop those in there like so, and rather than going for a uh, circular can access it all the way around design, maybe, just maybe, what I should actually be doing is going for the kind of design that will only allow me access from one way, but will be lighter in the long run. So, obviously we've got the walls coming around there. Yeah, because this back part I could use for a uh, pipe access. Uh, 
Um, right, now I need to bear in mind space for maybe another one of these. So I'm going to sh shove it there. Wait, I just realized something. That's really odd. How has that happened? Oh, you know how that's happened? It's because I'm building the, um... Yeah, I know exactly what's happened here. It's because I'm using the outer structure, not the inner structure. to actually build this, and I'm out of frames, again. Well... I suppose, at least for the most part, I seem to have got the walls constructed. So that, that pretty much, that's almost, almost, almost our power core complete. Maybe I should even use a modular design. Have like a separate room, which would be the uh, construction where like, be building all our stuff there. It'll be where we fly, it'll be hold our stasis chamber, and then everything in between, to save me having walls all the way around, maybe I should just use railings, and have like a walkway or something. Right, well, um, long story short, basically, obviously all the laggy shit happened, um, my recording software, rather, to be specific, my game capture software, the thing that actually captures the game, decided that it's just going to stop and now won't work, like, at all. I have no idea, I haven't actually quit out of the game yet, I'm still in the game, so, yeah. Gonna go and investigate that, because what the fuck? Um, but yeah, I guess that kind of ends it there, really, so yeah. Uh, thank you for watching, if you like this video, hit that like button, stay with us as always, and I will see you in the next video, I guess.